Hi there, this is Fun With Research, and I'm Susan Byer. I'm glad you're here with me today. Uh, today I'm issuing a challenge to all of you out there who have done some kind of research for your organization in the past. Um, and that challenge is to go back to that research and identify 12 topics that you could write a piece of content about. And this is so important. I see so many people investing in research and not using it to its full benefit. Uh, and one of those benefits is establishing you as a thought leader, uh, giving you content, ideas about things to write about. And you don't necessarily have to do thought leadership research to get that kind of content. Even if you've got research that you conducted maybe in support of product development or a customer satisfaction survey or something like that, you can incorporate questions into those kinds of surveys that then you can turn around and use as a springboard for a piece of content. So for example, Let's say you're surveying your customers uh, about something, and one of the questions you ask them is the biggest challenges that they're having right now. You can take that information and build a piece of content that say, hey, we know a lot of people struggle with this particular challenge, um, and we're going to share our perspective on that. We're gonna give you some advice, some topics, we have some resources that you can uh, utilize to that. Uh, and it doesn't really give anything away to your competitors necessarily. You don't have to share specific numbers, um, but you can go through and find really great little nuggets to provide a platform for you to talk about. You know, sharing the data from your research isn't thought leadership. Thought leadership is your perspective on that data. Uh, and it may be data that uh, surprised you, something that you didn't expect to see, and you could talk about that. It may be something that you did expect to see, you could talk about that. Um, it may be a piece of data that suggested that one of your assumptions uh, hasn't been accurate, and you can talk about that on all of things are great things to springboard some content off of, whether that's a little video, whether that's um, a blog post that you wanna write, a resource that you wanna provide because you see people struggling with something and you think you have some advice or tips that can help. So if you've got research in the past, I want you to go back and take a look and see if you can come up with a list of 12 little nuggets that you could talk about from a content standpoint to help start establishing some thought leadership or if you're already in that space to continue to give you more content to work with. And if you have a research project underway right now, I strongly urge you to consider whether it is built with this idea in mind and whether there are little questions you can put in there that you think no matter what the answer turns out to be, will give you an opportunity to talk about that topic. Why 12? Uh, because 12 months in a year means that if you can find a little nugget from research uh, for each month, then you can focus your content on that topic for a whole month and do a combination of content elements and do some resources or whatever and just have a plan for the month. Um, I'm gonna bet that most of the time you'll be able to find 12 little pieces that you can talk about in research that you've done regardless of why that research was originally done. So I want you to think about that. Let me know how that goes for you. You can always reach me at susan at audienceaudit.com. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next Friday.